Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again. And today we're going to be checking out Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. This is a game by Playway. Uh, they're the guys that did like Ships 2017, uh, Construction Sim. I mean, we did so many games by Playway this year. It's been uh, phenomenal to, uh, to you know, get games from these guys. And they sent over uh, the copy of this game for me. Uh, this game releases on Steam March 23rd, I believe. Uh, links will be in the description down below if I'm wrong. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. We are going to be a new game. And, yes, we are good to go. Welcome to the game Train Mechanic 2017. You're a train mechanic, and your task will be to repair rail, rail vehicles in three different workshops. Under the care uh, will be both archaic, archaic, archaic and simple steam engines. I don't know. All right. So uh, we have to start our train shop. So this is like a little alleyway underneath that you can get underneath the trains and check stuff out. Uh, there is some upper levels where you can kind of look at some stuff. Watch your speed. Watch your speed. And then in here is where we can uh, go ahead and start our first work order. So we're going to go ahead and start it. This uh, train comes right on into the building. It appears that the uh, cause of the locomotive's malfunction is a damaged carriage. Probably the steel and rubber springs. Locate the exact cause of the defect and replace it with a new part. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the motor truck. And so we can actually kind of look around here. So we can see if we kind of take a closer look on this side, these are like super rusty looking compared to some of the other parts. And so we can actually go ahead and disassemble these parts because, you know, we're, we're kind of thinking that these are the right ones. So I'm just going to undo some of those and you can see it's they're also called steel and rubber springs so we're gonna also undo this one this one does not have as many screws all right so now i'm gonna hit t on my tablet and i am gonna go and buy some mechanical parts we need some steel and rubber springs uh, i need two of them so we're gonna do that we're gonna go ahead and order yep okay and we can close that and now we have to go to installation mode. So I'm going to hit number two on my keyboard. And we're going to go ahead and reapply some new ones. So these are the ones we took off. This one was at 30%. This one was at 15. We're going to put 100% one in. So go ahead and do that. Very nice. Very nice. And we're going to go ahead and put the front ones in. Another 100% one. All right. And I believe we're now done. Everything is ready. Awesome. So we can also check the uh, job order. If I hit M, you can see we've replaced both of those steel rubber springs. We can finish the order and we'll get some money for that. So there that goes. The income is $125. Uh, we got a bonus achievement for $125 and for low cost, uh, $500. So very nice indeed. All right. So let's get our next train. All right, as the next train comes in, let's go ahead and take a look. Locate the faulty components of the braking systems on the front truck. All right, so we've not found them yet. So this is the front of the train. So we're actually going to just look over this again. And if I had to guess, it looks like we got some rust up here. So it's this one up here. We got the uh, brake calipers, the caliper arm, and the hydraulic piston are definitely the pieces that we need to worry about here. So let's go ahead and undo this. And I want to do this brake arm, but I can't take the brake arm without taking off the hydraulic piston or brake piston. But I also have to take off the brake hose line too. So let's take that off. Then we'll grab this, undo some more bolts. And that is now off. Now I want to take off this caliper arm. And so go ahead and pull that out. And now I can go ahead and hit tablet again. And we're going to look for some of the brake stuff. So we need a caliper arm. Uh, we'll need a caliper. And we're going to need a brake piston. So that's a total of $6,000. So let's go ahead and buy that. Let's get out of there. And we can go to installation mode. The caliper arm is what we need to install first. We'll just go ahead and put this screw in there. Hydraulic brake piston. We can put that in. This has the most screws. All right. Now the caliper arm. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. The brake calipers. Let's go ahead and put those on. Tiny little screw and then the hydraulic brake hose. 
And I believe that will be everything that we needed to do. Very nice. Let's finish the order. There it goes. Uh, income of $250, bonus $250, and low cost uh, $500,000 profit. Not bad, not bad. Next train. All right, train number three, we actually have to go out and get. So let's go ahead and leave our garage and head out into the world. So not only in Train Mechanic Simulator do you get to fix trains, you also get to drive trains. Oh, yes. So we can hit map and we have to go to the square D1, which is going to be way up here in this area, northern boundary east. And we can kind of see where our roads are going to take us, but I want to go ahead and switch this road. And I'll probably switch this one. So that will start to take us upward because I just want to head straight up north, basically. Um, let's go ahead and give ourselves some more speed here. There we go. That is a little bit of a sharp turn for the train, but it's no big deal. We can also go into first person mode too and kind of take a look. And that, that's pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna want to go. I don't know why it just doesn't want to go, go straight. Um, is that right? Yeah. And then we'll flip back over this way. And that should allow us to go straight up. Once we pass this one, it'll tell us our next junction. So yeah, still having us going north. And then once we hit this boundary, uh, I'm going to have it go to the right. Okay, there we go. Go to the right. And now we just have to uh, take our nice little smooth train ride all the way up north. All right, so it looks like we're coming up on the engine here now. I'm going to go ahead and put on the brakes. Well, not too bad, actually. Um, don't want to slow down too much. But we are going to slow down here ever so slightly. And there's the broken down train. All right, now we have the train connected to us. And we need to get home. So... This map, I mean, a, a lot of this will do kind of just about everything for you if you just let it do it. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on the throttle and it's going to take us home. Forgot to mention, guys, there's a horn. It's not bad. Not bad at all. It's pretty cool. All right, we got the train pulled up. Now the problem, damaged transmission in the truck, remove and replace them. All right, so we have to check out the truck. So, transmission. It looks like it's these two, the drive gear and a drive gear. So let's go ahead and disassemble this. Oh, we need to take off this front little, this little bitty guy like right here. And then take that off. Oh, we gotta get that one first. And then take those off. And now we can come back here to the tablets and we gotta check out a drive gear. Where? Oh, there it is. Go ahead and pick up two of those. $46,000 a piece? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. All right. But, you know, hey, what do you got to do? We got to do what we got to do. All right. So let's go ahead, put that one on, put that one on. We go ahead and put on these, uh, what, what are these called? Electric motor rotor tip shafts. All right. And that should be everything that we need to do. Let's go ahead and finish the order. All right, there goes that one. Income of 250, 250, and 500, another thousand dollars. Very nice, very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get another job. All right, this next train job is one where we have to head out into the field again. And uh, I think this time we have to find a derailed train. So it should be around here somewhere. It's an E4. Oh, let's go ahead and slow down here. Slow down, slow down, slow down. All right, there it is. There's a, let's go ahead and start the crane up. And here we go. So now we can go ahead and extend this out. Uh, we can do height with Q and E. So there we go. And just kind of push that back out there. Uh, I am going to lower that down a little bit more. And it looks like I can actually come back in here, uh, lower this jobby down. There we go. 
And now we have attached it. So let's go ahead and pull it up here. Careful, careful. Okay, so we have now lifted the train. Not, not the hardest thing in the world to do. So now we have to realign the train with the tracks. It's like this was like some easy task or something. Okay, we're coming back in. I just don't want to tap my train with this train. So just being very careful, very careful. So now we can actually go ahead and lower this puppy down some. All right. Now we just have to make our way back to the station to repair this train up. All right. Next train is in the station. Uh, damage with the engine mountings in both trucks. All right. So we've got a lot of work to do in this one. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, engine mountings. Let's go ahead and take off some screws. All right. That's taken care of. Let's go ahead and get this next one as well. This guy right here. Oh, we got to take these off first. Oh, wow. Lots of screws in this one. And now the engine mounting. So not too many. Just another eight screws. All right. There's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and buy the new parts. Engines. Uh, we're going to, like I said, these are engine mounting parts. Uh, ignition cables. Where? Oh, where? Where? would engine mounting parts be? I guess they might not actually be in the engine stuff. Uh, it might be still in the mechanical parts. Um, axle box, truck frame. Yeah, engine mounting. Let's go ahead. We're going to buy four of these just because I'm thinking we're going to need them in the back as well. All right, now for reassembly. Engine mounting, we'll go ahead and take one of those and start to screw everything back in. So over here on the back side, the engine or electric motor mounting brackets are actually pretty beat up as well. So I probably should replace those. So let's go ahead and pick up two of those. I didn't notice that on the front, but maybe I screwed up and uh, didn't actually get to check that out properly. But uh, yeah, we go ahead and put these on and continue on our day. All right, here's the last couple bolts here and we should yeah, that's just about everything. So let's go ahead and finish the order. Have this big old train get out of here. 500, 500, and 1,000. That makes $2,000 for us. Uh, so we can also improve our workshop on the tablet too. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Improve the shop. Screw gun uh, allows faster light tightening and loosening of bolts. That sounds pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do that a little bit. And we'll, we'll kind of leave that be. Let's check out the next train situation that we've got to do. All right, so we've got three different orders uh, during transportation of goods. The rear truck is damaged and requires urgent repair. Um, drove over something lying on the tracks. The front tracks require servicing. Yeah, we haven't done anything of the axles. So let's try this out. Let's see what this one kind of requires. Uh Brake system damage, cause effect. Okay, well, I thought it was the wheels, but I guess not. Oh, yeah, it actually is. Okay, cool. So let's check this out here. Um, well, we got to disassemble this, but we've got to disassemble everything else in here, too. Wow, we've got to actually take out a lot just to get to this wheel axle. Can you believe that? All right, so let's see here. Uh, we're going to need to take this off, so let's go ahead and take off the dampener. There we go. And the axle box, two really big screws or bolts, I guess like you should say. All right, we're gonna need to flip back around over to here, get all those taken out, and then we'll take off these big guys. Okay, so that's that. And then for the rest of this, we're gonna need the brake calipers to come off. And we'll do the other side as well. 
And then the drive gear, so let's take that off. Take that off, and then the engine mounting. All right, that's off. Now we can take the wheels out. And now I guess we'll just replace the wheels. All right, so let's hit T on our tablet. Here we go. And we're just going to need some wheels. Yeah, we're at $21,000 for a wheel axle on a train. That's crazy. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and reassemble that bad boy. And then we'll go ahead and put this guy back in. A couple of big old bolts. All right, and now all the innards of this thing. So we got to put on the engine mounting. So we've got eight screws for this guy. Bolts. I keep saying screws. They're bolts. They're not screws. And the drive gear. All right, let's take a look. We're good. Let's go ahead and finish up the order. There it goes. Income of 500, 500, and 1,000 makes 2,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Train Mechanic Simulator. If you want to check it out for yourself, you can do so. Links in the description down below. And if you want to see more, go ahead and hit that like button. We'll be back uh, with some more. Trains may exceed 80 miles per hour.